How good is that? Richard, you don't need a makeover, but you'd do it <laughs> if you had to. Well, it, most definitely. There's Because, you know, there's one thing better than a makeover, and that's a free one. Definitely. Richard's here from uh, Urban Terrace. You are, uh, well, it's uh, Urban Terrace and Turfs Up Landscaping, that's right? That's correct. Because you do both. That's you design nice spaces for people and you create them that's it so we design build and we also get into the maintenance aspect of yes things. now i uh, i live in the same kind of neighborhood as you we're in i guess you're bell's corners aren't you? we're located in the bell's corners area you're on the yeah. cusp that's it that's <laughs> yeah. it um and i drove by the other day and i saw a for sale sign or something like that or a lease sign on that's your, right. on property where you are because you're gonna kind of move around and do some different things, well, right? Well, the challenge with a seasonal business, and, and the building is for lease right now, and, and in fact, um, we're closed from October all the way through to March. Yeah. So for six months of the year, I don't even set foot into the store. Right. Um, so we're gonna be generating pop-up stores. It's a big rave in sort of New York and yeah. Toronto. There was that, uh, you yeah. know, the Target pop-up shop that created a lot of buzz. and. Uh, so our first pop-up location is probably going to be in the Westboro area, right. and then year two will be Westboro and the Glebe, and year three will be Kanata, Westboro, Glebe, So et cetera, you're going to continue with what you're doing yeah, just in a it. different way. Yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. yeah, so for a three, four-month stand. So okay, it will be April, May, June, July, yeah. and then we'll still have our head office, and you can get all sites. I all saw products. the sign the other day, and I was going to stop in, but I had just come from, uh, you know, Bruce Pitt, right? and there was a thunderstorm and it was me and two wet dogs and I didn't think you wanted that. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about what you do because one of the first things you do is sit down with people and come up with ideas through design, right? It's, it's all about the brainstorming, the, the, the consultation aspect. I mean, I've been doing this um, uh, for 22 years now for myself and uh, you can plunk me into sort of a blank canvas backyard or, or a mature backyard and uh, we can discuss the issues, whether you're dealing with privacy issues or uh, you're, you're looking to embed or rejuvenate. Right. Um, it doesn't always have to be an entire overhaul of the landscape. No, it can no. be just could a be little bit area, of tweaking right? a little bit. Yeah, yeah it could yeah. be uh, small things in an overall sense. Yeah, and I mean, you want to determine whether you want to get into, you know, like a, a flagstone, a square cut block flagstone, a paving stone, where, you know, keeping things relatively maintenance free. Right. There's no such thing as a maintenance free garden, by the no. way, but there's low maintenance gardens. And you explain to people what, you know, their budget constraints can handle and what yeah, they can. Yeah, and, and right? a lot of that. I mean, if, if um, depending on the budget, again, I mean, it could be a granite or it could be a paving stone or yeah. it could be, you know, a pea gravel surface. So it, it really depends on, depends on, on budget and we can accommodate all types of budgets. It's, uh, it's, it's, you know, a skill, to, I think, to be able to draw that out of people, what they want, you know what I mean? Because sometimes we as regular people, and you, you do this all the time, but, you know, I don't, I don't see it in my mind. I just know what I like. Well, right? and that's it. I mean, that's all part of the consultation, the going back and forth. It might take four or five meetings before we actually pin down sort of the skeleton of the landscape, yeah, right? So, yeah. I mean, when it comes to, uh, again, material selections, decking versus stonework, do um, uh, you want a hot tub in the future? Are you thinking about a pool for the kids? Are you right. thinking about this? that or the other there's, right. there's a lot to think about and digest and it's not just a wham bam it's it's certainly something that takes a lot of thought process does this sort of thing have trends like clothing trends you know what i mean um uh, the, the, for the most part, I mean, the, the, the plant stock itself is fairly generic, and I mean, there's there's uh, there's always uh, the evolution of, of new uh, uh, species and so on that, that come out. I, I love uh, the combination of using annuals and tropicals, and then your woody plant material with your trees and shrubs. Right. And, right. Uh, yeah. So a I nice think, combination. I think the containers and so on would be more apt to have a trend well, than anything. Well, so right? once the landscape is done, and I think we'll get into this a little bit more later, okay. is is the accessorizing of the outdoor space so whether it's a new landscape that has just been built or a, a, an existing landscape that you're trying to sort of pick it up a notch um, the containers that we have at the urban terrace are a lightweight resin and, and it's just a fantastic product there's 52 different styles yeah. of these containers yeah. in 16 different colors uh, so. one thing I do know is you have stuff that nobody else has and that's that's kind of you know and I, I have a number of sort of one-offs like we, we yeah. have uh, you know a, an iron moose like a life-size iron moose you, and we, what? <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> it's from the Toronto area, so oh, I guess right? go figure, right? So, no, the moose um, is from Newfoundland. <laughs> so that's um, right. But, you know, you get into travertine and marble sculptures and, and uh, soapstone pieces from Africa. Yeah. You get into a whole whack of different it's things. Cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll explore more ideas and, and uh, you know, more things about uh, your business. But, by the way, uh, you can uh, head on over. You're still in the same location for yeah, now. Yeah, 18 North Side Road in the Bells Corners area. Yeah, it's not far, uh, not uh, hard to find at all. Yeah. Urban Terrace and Turfs Up Landscaping. 
Uh, we'll talk more later uh, with Richard about uh, more ideas for you and your home.